interesting. Definitely not looking forward to fucking working in a restaurant in a conservative county. Yeah. Yeah. A bunch of shitty white people who don't think this shit's real anyways. Yeah, they're assholes. God damn it. I hate the clientele at that restaurant so I just again some of the some of the folks who come there are like genuinely good people and like actually sweet and empathetic and cool and all that but majority of those folks are garbage <laughs> like just hot white fucking pro-trump bullshit garbage ugly yeah real ugly well, so this is the lousy advice podcast <laughs> <laughs> and we are we still are. quarantined uh what week is it for us is it like week 10 oh i have no idea I, yeah, it's either nine or ten. Nine or ten. Although right? I will say that I had my COVID scare, I which know. is the new pregnancy scare. Ooh. So that's exciting. Yeah. She's negative. Yeah. <laughs> I know but. that was such good news this morning when you were like, because I know that's got to be stressful, Ooh. especially for you, Shelby, who's immunocompromised. Like, yeah, that's got to be. It, it was a little scary. stressful. Yeah. It was, but the fact that I had no symptoms to me was like, okay, well, this is either gonna get really ugly in a few days or this is going to be okay yeah yeah and it was okay so that's cool that is awesome i'm really happy to hear that and i've been off work for a heck of days now which i mean in this climate is not great and i'm lucky to have a job but for me was kind of tight well how many days have you not been working since wednesday i haven't worked uh since tuesday so wednesday was the day i stopped working go off so you had like a whole week yeah basically they were uh, because i uh, Aaron called and was like, yeah, roommate's positive. And I was like, oh shit, it's been like nine days, which, uh, like if I figured that if I had it, I would be feeling it by now, but in the timelines didn't really match up. But, uh, I have this questionnaire that I have to answer to before I go to work every day. And you have to be able to answer all like, yes to all the questions. And since I had seen someone within 14 days of them testing positive, either way, I wasn't allowed to go to work until I had a cleared test. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. But it was actually really easy to get, thankfully. So all good things. That is really good. Yeah. Yeah. It was horrible, though. Where did you have to go to get it? (laughs) So I went to, it's out. I don't know, Eric. I know Jake will know where this is, but there's this hospital right outside of Stockton um, in French Camp. Oh, the, um, and... that's that's the uh, county hospital. We oui, we. Oui. Yeah, there. It was at that big old hospital there, <laughs> and honestly, it was so it was pretty easy to get the appointment. Um, it's and right then next when to you, the hill. yeah, it's like right off of I five. But it was easy to get the appointment and going there. Like you get there and they have you park your car, and they just like send you to line up. Um, because I got like one of the first appointments of the day, so I think I was like the second person to be tested in that that day. Mm-hmm. But they like lined you up and you drive through the thing and you like hold your id up to the class and they're like all wearing scuba suits which was really like freaky to me um (laughs) uh, so they like put your test and all your information they had set aside already like under your name and your contact info they like put it in your windshield and they send you to like to drive to where they actually do the test and they shove this giant swab all the way down your nose into your throat. Ooh, and before yeah. they do it, it was it felt like you were it feels like when you're swimming and you get water up your nose. Yeah. So like the lady's like in her scuba suit and she's like, roll your window halfway down. And I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, and she's like, I'm gonna shove this down your nose and I'm gonna count to ten and then you're gonna be done. And then she like did it immediately. I was like, Oh Oh yeah, I'm <laughs> she sure that's ten. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that my eyes are closed and it's like they're counting and I'm like oh my god I wish I didn't have to listen to you counting right now just knowing how long until like <laughs> it's done and she like pulls it out she's like okay bye I'm like sick damn weird that's yeah, wild was, I, I saw a couple gnarly. I saw a couple video, uh, videos of people going through the line and them just like it, they're, they're no nonsense like it's a long ass no. swab and it's just like into the nose and it's like oh, like, oh my god oh. Yeah. <laughs> but then I was also reading stuff on CNN about how the White House aka our president uh, gets tested all the time but they do so the test that he does is not the nose test because I fully believe that he's a pussy yeah <laughs> so he does the mouth swab an, one oh, like the rapid saying, test which is not even that accurate swab. Oh, he chooses no, the anal option. Like is that, that what you said? He'd be scared yeah. of being. Gay. He'd be scared of being of seeming like he's gay. But 
Um, no, but he does like the rapid test, which is like a mouth swab, and it's not even like fully accurate, which is <laughs> crazy. It's crazy, but we can only hope that bad things happen to them, so it's fine. Oh yeah, one hundred percent, completely. I anyway, wish. that was my COVID experience. <laughs> But that is scary luckily. yeah i mean also not, like having not really been around a whole lot of people shelby because i know the only people that you've been around are the people at your work and jake same yeah. as you so i'm su- I'm assuming going anywhere yeah. that isn't that is probably a little like what and then everyone's in scuba suits and you're like oh no <laughs> yeah. yeah it was pretty weird uh did you feel like et <laughs> I didn't even have enough time to feel feelings while I was there it was really fast i, I will say that they really like have their ET. shit together yeah because Honestly, the one thing that I would, if I, if, if, if I were to go get tested, seeing like these videos of people getting tested, I'd be like, I would just feel like ET in that moment. Yeah. Like with him and Elliot yeah. on the separate beds and everyone's in the white and they're like covered and shrouded. And he's just like, Ugh. yeah, it does Dude, kind of feel like that. But really there's that, not, like I said, it went so fast that there wasn't really enough time for me to have like strong feelings at the moment. Yeah. I feel that, that. part of um, that part of that movie is like total kinder trauma moment. It's like really frightening. Oh, it's it's awful, yeah. Well, just the <laughs> fact that they're like connected, and the fact that like ET's dying, so Elliot's hurting, and then all that. Yeah, it's gross. Yeah, it's sad. I don't really like trauma. ET though, so that's an opinion. You what? Well, I, I mean, said I don't really good. like ET though, so that's like an opinion. Oh, Wait, what gotcha. was the topic of conversation for this podcast today? I don't know. I don't even oh, <laughs> I thought I don't know. I threw out like, what if we did an Animal Crossing episode? But it was also like, what if we did a conspiracy theories episode? I liked both of them. And then I responded and Jake just sent a meme. So yeah. I don't know what I we did. ever decided. So <laughs> thanks, Jake. Thanks, Jake, You're for welcome. your input. <laughs> um, no, I, yeah, let's talk about Animal Crossing since we're all playing it a ton. And it's sort of like a, uh, like the, like the quarantine king of media for a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how have you guys been enjoying your islands? So much. Uh, I saw a tweet today that said Animal Cross, like, Animal Crossing this year is how is like the opposite, but exactly the same as what Pokemon Go was. Oh when yeah, it first came out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except for everyone's inside playing. Everyone's it. inside doing it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which is nice, <laughs> but I'm thoroughly enjoying it is. my poor, ugly new island because I have not. I am late to the game. How far yeah. are you in the island? Have you gotten bladders yet? Or I mean, sorry. Yeah, have, have you gotten um, KK? No, we're working on it. We're trying to have KK do this concert here, man. <laughs> I'm doing so much weeding. And this guy named O'Hare just moved to my island today. And I don't even think I like him. Ooh. What kind of a villager is he? A fucking uh, snobby uh, one. Yeah, I was like, I'm looking him up right now. He's. <laughs> I hear your keyboard just <laughs> <The> like. <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, it's a rabbit. Just, it's a rabbit. Like and he's got like a snob. A, he, he, has, he has like a. Like a uh, a top hat on. <gasps> yeah, he's like kind but of a it's, snob. It's like a shitty top hat. It's not a good uh-huh. one. It's it's like a it's like it's like a sun hat top hat. <laughs> and when he I was like so that. he came initially to camp. He was camping and he's like, I kinda uh-huh. wanna move here, but I kinda wanna be a part of the VIPs and would like to be invited if you could talk to somebody about that for me, which means he wanted me to take my ass to Tom Nook and be like Hey, can you invite this guy to come live on our island? Which I, I think is fucking whack and Honestly, I just don't like camper? that energy. I love that. Yeah, he was my first camper. Yeah, see, you have to take the first one. That's what it is, no matter what. That. Yeah. But he is like, you need to go talk to Tom Nook for me because I can't do it. I think I should be a VIP and be asked to live here. And I'm like, <laughs> you're pretty fucking entitled, you stupid rabbit, but yeah. whatever. Yeah, go find another island, you asshole. <laughs> God. Damn. There's some people I'm ready to move off my island for sure, like Goldie, Goody Two Shoes. I get really Shit. attached to mine is the problem. Same. Yeah. Like, like, uh, only one villager has moved off, and it was Igly, the penguin. He's like the buff, buff penguin Aww. who always wants to work out. He's kind of a dick, but um, <laughs> when he was talking to me, and he's like, yeah, I'm thinking about leaving. I was like, why? <laughs> what did, what did, I was just like, what did I do? And he's just like... <laughs> No, I'm thinking about like seeing other things, you know, just get out there and go on an adventure. What do you think? And I was like, I think you should say, he's like, yeah, I think I'm going to go. And I was like, oh, oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know say. that one of mine is leaving soon. Like her name is Rocket. She's um, the superhero ape. Yeah. I like the, like uh, the, like, uh, and I like, love uh, her, but she's Power like, Rangers one. 
she alluded to like she has a place back home and she's like i know i always have a place to fall back on if i don't want to live here anymore and i'm like mm. you're like no <laughs> stay here <laughs> fuck yeah. your family stay with me <laughs> yeah but i mean there's just heartbreak on isle de bb sometimes you know truly yeah. wait what are you guys' island names oh mine is cutie town yeah, it is. Love. I <laughs> have been there. Great. I actually, actually, fun fact, I just got a five star rating a couple days ago. Oh, yeah. <gasps> I have no rating. F- five star island. Yeah, it's once um, well, after KK went, to, or it was when Isabel's there, she does island evals, and you can check with her every day. Um, and it, it, the whole point of it, too, is to like, once you get a three star rating, that's when KK will consider playing on your island. What a fucking superstar. It's true. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, I get it. He Crazy. puts out so many bops. So it's fully, yeah, it's it's fully understandable yeah. that like KK, KK needs to make sure that they're playing something that'll help. That'll benefit them. I get yeah. it. I get it. I totally get it. Jake, what's yours? Mine, what's your, mine is... Uh, <laughs> we keep trying not to interrupt each, each other. Mine's, um, mine's Ritaville. Oh yeah! Oh God! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course it is. <laughs> Are you wasted away? Because Margaritaville wouldn't fit uh, in the thing, so it's Ritaville now. Are you wasted away again? Oh, oh yeah, always. Are well, you... I thought you... You know, what represents island living more than Jimmy Jimmy Buffett, and yeah. the answer is absolutely nothing. Also, that's debatable, but good job. <laughs> 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 oh my god your island is just florida pretty much yeah yeah that sounds like hell <laughs> i know J- jake you've been playing this game since day one since it came out yeah because y'all yeah. you and nicole are both big stands. animal crossing stands yeah yeah Where shelby I, and I, I are very n- noob based yeah yeah, yeah um, i've been playing it since the first one so are you still loving that. it do you still have stuff to do on your island um you know at this point nicole's playing it more than i am for sure Okay. I am um, at this point. I'll probably just pop in once there's more updates and things to uh, do. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, luckily there was that newer update that like just came out that gives that gives a little bit more stuff to do. But you know, it's um, oh, like with the art and everything. Yeah, with red and there's uh, yeah. leaf is there now. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> um, but I ran through everything so fast, like we like we just were boom, 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 boom. Like it got everything done like super fast well, just by. You know. When I got the game and I went to your island for the first time, you already had all five rooms. You had all the villagers. KK was there yeah. performing. Like oh my every, god, everything was done essentially. Because like, because KK is kind of like it's kind of beating the game almost when you get him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they do the, like the uh, in a way. Sequence. Yeah, because like that's when the like story with tom nook ends where you're like wait spoilers I mean, is that Does really a spoiler tom nook stop being a no, a, no. a slum lord no, no he I mean, stays he's, slummy. he's still there okay but cool. i'm but i mean you know how you, you constantly have to go to him to like be like what do i do that's yeah. what that kind of ends is that moment oh that's tight yeah, I don't so like Tom Nook. I think he's after an that. You're after that. You're up to your own uh, yeah devices, you know. Because you still need him to get like uh, ramps and, and bridges, and yeah. if you want to move somebody's house, you have to talk to him. If you want to move a store, you have to talk to him. Yeah, you know. yeah. Hmm. But. Yeah, I just Tom Nook gives me bad vibes. I like Isabel better. Isabel is such a sweetie. She is a bell. She is a bell. Truly. <laughs> like I have my stuff open right now, and she's just at her desk sleeping. Have you ever uh, walked in and seen them doing their um, morning calisthenics? Yes, I'm obsessed. <laughs> Together, <laughs> is that because that's no? Because that's like a thing in Japan where, like, at work every morning for like twenty for like fifteen minutes, you do like calisthenics like that. Yeah, like everybody in the office does. Yeah, just to get blood flowing and stuff. A hundred percent. Yeah. And so and it's hilarious. It's, it's so cute watching them do it. I like seeing people put that to music of like them dancing. Yeah. Is so cute. Travis uh posted it and I retweeted it. Or he didn't post it, he retweeted somebody else's thing. But it was the two of them cut together to the speed of um uh Mr. Brightside by the Killers. So it's like the two <laughs> oh. of, it's the two of them just like kind of bopping back and forth. It looks like yeah. they're totally getting down dancing to the song. It's absolute uh beautiful <laughs> content one of my favorite um isabel things is when you look i'm like isn't it a little early 
when you look at Isabel, she always has a drink next to her when she's doing the like morning announcement. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it doesn't it doesn't look non-alcoholic to be honest. It I mean, yeah, like it looks like like a mai tai or something. I know I know it's supposed to probably be like iced tea or something. Yeah, but it definitely looks like a fucking <laughs> double rum and coke or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Yeah, Isabel's going um, off. I, so do your guys is so I think I've seen you, but I haven't seen you recently, Eric, and I haven't seen Jake. But do you guys does your Animal Crossing character look like you? Yes, it does. A little bit. I yeah. think mine does. With with the fashion, yes. Cause yeah. cause as much as I love like wacky costumes, if I get something that's like wacky, I'll try it on real quick and I'm like, nah, I like my style better. <laughs> and I'll just like put, yeah. put right back on my like color block shirt and ripped up shorts and my like pink combat boots. Yeah, so I was making my character look like me a lot, and lately I have been really into making her look like an old granny. Oh, go off. <laughs> I love that. So, granny like, she box. has a purple velvet dress, which I love, um, and, like, gray hair in a bun with, like, a flower in it, and I've just been really feeling Honestly, the looks. Honestly, leisure wear is where it's at. Yeah. And the dress that she wears is titled, it's like a purple velvet dress, and it's called Mysterious Dress. <gasps> I love that. So, I don't know. I don't think I'll ever go back to my Animal Crossing character looking like me. I really think I like this old lady I like gardening. This, I like this, <laughs> chopping wood. this sort of narrative structure you're developing as far as, like, this is you retiring. Yeah. yeah like, this, is, like, this is retired Shelby. Yeah. <laughs> this is you developing a, a community uh, post-career um, on a beautiful island and just kind of like living your day to day. For this animal, cro- for this podcast episode, I think that we should make it instead of having it our avatar as the cover picture. I think that our we should crossing. have it be our Animal Crossing person. Oh yes, take yes. a photo and take. If you guys can screenshot that and send it to me, yeah. I will do yeah. that and post that as the photo. That's so cute. I think yeah. that would be funny. Cool. Do it in front of your house. Okay. Anyway, I'm just being bossy now. I'm sorry. No, yeah, boss. just boss us around, please. Boss, boss us up. I'm gonna grab a Kool Aid jammer. Go jam it. Jammer. Ugh. I have a mini fridge in my room now. Why? I saw. Uh, because I like to go off. That's why. True. What's the real reason? Like, just spoke uh, to you or something? We just weren't using it, and then uh, I'm building that board game table. And it's gonna go in here, and I was like, oh, let's put the fridge in here so people can like grab drinks and stuff. Is it just? That's cool. Is it just because mini fridges are a very masculine item? It is. They are, aren't they? Like that, aren't like they? That. Mini fridges, like the only association of mini fridges I have are frat Beer. boys and dorm rooms. Yeah. And it's it's yeah. me, it's like dude dorm rooms or that masculine identified dorm rooms. Not. Remind me of that of that tweet today where they were like, so for the straight guys that have Animal Crossing, how's your music room and gym room going? Yes. It's just so yes. funny because the first room I put in my house was a music room. To, to, to be fair... <laughs> Yeah, it was like how, like to all the straight guys, what's how's that like? And I was like, well, I have a gym and a music room on my island. <laughs> you have a gym? I built an outdoor gym. Yeah, love. I got that like um, I found the diamond plate pattern somebody had made, and so I just like put that all over the ground and then fenced it off and like put a little sign that says gym, and then I put like three rock climbing walls, um. Like some bikes, some punching bags, and uh, a couple of the uh, uh, bench press bars. Yeah, that's cute. It is cute. I think it's fun. It just like adds a little bit of flavor because then outside of that, there's like a little snack bar and like uh, my record player, so you can play music and you can get a little espresso. There's some tables and chairs, and then there's like a pool next to the vending machines, and then like a little candy dispenser. It's cute. So I just I'm not gonna have any rooms in my house because I'm not giving that fucking Tom Nook any more of my money. <laughs> I so so I have div- I divided my rooms by my big giant room. I did the one upgrade and I have four different rugs and each rug is like it's divided because I just don't think it's right. Why do I have to give all my money to Tom Nook? It's true. He yeah. owns the island. Damn. <laughs> If you if you have long term payments and you need cash now, Shelby, um, <laughs> Turnip Exchange is kind of a bop and sort of oh. JG Wentworth adjacent. I like legit. I got a like a lump sum at a certain point, and I put in like four hundred thousand dollars worth of bells um, towards turnips, and then I went on Turnip Exchange, and I found an island 
that you could sell turnips for like I think it was like five sixty seven or something a, a mm, per turnip, and I ended up making like one point six million in just that. What? Yeah, it's literally yep. the stock exchange is crazy. I know I sound like a garbage uh, upper upper class white person who's just benefiting on passive income and manipulating the stock market and keeping poor people poor. But um, honestly, it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> if yeah i don't know <laughs> it worked out it worked out like today i just bought like four hundred thousand dollars worth of or bells worth of turnips man it, it just what how do you even get the turnips because i've only seen the turnip guy like once she, she's there on sundays every sunday sunday mornings before noon i think sunday mornings before noon ah, that is correct then i missed it yeah. i missed the turnips god I, gosh I, darn it I'm such a newbie that, like, you guys really are, like, my only source of insider scoop, man. But, like, yeah. I really still think I'm going to keep just the one room because I really don't like Tom Nook. I don't trust him. <laughs> I really don't. I know <laughs> that that is, sounds really wacky because it's a game, but I just think that he is, he's the man, and I don't like the man. It yeah. freaks me out. There's, there's, a, <laughs> there's a level of, like... Um, just general distrust of somebody who's like, yeah, you can just come and do this, and you're like sick. He's like, that'll cost you for sure. Like, I'm happy you did it, but it's definitely like you do owe me now. And you're like, oh, I didn't realize that, that was it was one of these. He's like, yeah, but whenever and the numbers, mm -mm. Yeah. the numbers he's throwing out are not small numbers. Oh yeah, I had to pay him so much money to not live in a tent. I know. And he didn't even give me a good tent. My tent was fucking ugly. Rocket and <laughs> Teddy had way better tents than my person did. Like, what the fuck is that? This is my game. It's my Bullshit. island. I named it, motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, I just have a lot of feelings. Like, <laughs> I founded this island, asshole. Where were you? And you're, it's like, he's managing all of it and sort of like doing the back end paperwork. But at the end of the day, he's like, well, this is an Island that like runs on sort of the efforts of its community. So at the end of the day, you have to do the legwork and I'll sit here yeah. and you're like, um, I don't know about that. The most, uh, bullshitty moment is when you have to build the three house is, is when he's like, Oh, there's gonna be three people oh! moving in. And then he goes, oh, wait, yes! you have to build all the furniture for them, too. And you're like, wait, what? Yeah, in order for them to move in, you have to make sure that they're, it's all fully furnished and you have to build everything. You're like, what? It's like, what? But you don't see a penny of the profits. You don't see a penny of it. It's like, did I ever tell you when my old landlord tried to convince me that uh, one of the older tenants from a previous lease had brought the water heater? Did I ever tell you guys <laughs> Yes, this? you did. Our water not, heater maybe busted. Maybe not Jake. Our water heater this. busted at one point and our... Um, garage was just like flooding and this was the last house that eric and i lived in where we had like four other roommates you know san francisco all that but yeah. i called him and i was like hey uh it's like eight in the morning the garage is flooding the water heater is busted and he's like oh actually a um previous tenant brought that so we're not going to do anything about it you have to get that fixed yourself and i was like no and then he hung up and then I called my dad and I was like, I'm like, I've double checked the lease. That's not the case. We need to fix this now. We turned off the water, so it's fine. But he's like, oh yeah, fuck that. That's a part of the house. Call him back. And I called him back and I was like, hey, you have to fix this. He's like, oh, I guess you're right. Oh, so if <laughs> I hadn't pushed back, you would have just been cool off it. Fine. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like if if that guy was the worst. Yeah, though. He's a piece that of guy shit. was the worst. He's the one who stole five thousand dollars from us in our deposit and claimed that the house had like ten thousand dollars worth of damages. And yeah. when I met with the tenants union and was telling him that I was going to sue, uh, he or they rather him and his wife, they threatened me with a countersuit of twice as much. And I was like, wow. cool, this is fun. Yeah. So that's yeah, like Tom dumb. Nook. Um, that's adjacent. Tom Nook. That's Tom Nook. Man, that's Tom and Tim and Timmy. Timmy's it's Tom and okay. Tim and Timmy. Whoa. Hold on. Whoa. 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 It's Nook no. Cranny. They probably paid them nothing. We are absolutely pumping the brakes on this conversation because <laughs> Timmy and Tommy are sweet little I baby mean, angels. And yeah. they are a DIY business. They built their business from the ground up. And they it's called Nook's Cranny. Who do you think is funding this? That's just their last name, though. They're related, but they have uh. nothing to do with Tom Nook. <laughs> I, I disagree. I feel like in every large family business, all are included. I, I don't, don't buy it. So so he's their uncle, right? Yes. I want to know where their parents are. 
I really oh, love truly. Them. We're Timmy and Tommy's parents. Well, I kind of like this idea that like maybe it's it's just sort of like a like a like a queer family in that way with like Isabel, she's a part of it. Like Tom and Isabel aren't yeah. related, but they're sort of like raising Timmy and Tommy and Timmy and Tommy because they didn't really have like an active Whoa. parent figure. <laughs> They had to like become young entrepreneurs and like sort of like the the concept of like growing up faster in some degree. This is literally they're... the plot to In the Heights, by the way. Oh, hey. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah, In the Heights. Lin Manuel Miranda wrote In the Heights based on Animal Crossing. That is canon. You know what? The hardest working bitches on these islands are the Able Sisters. My favorites. Honestly, Truly. the Able Sisters. They don't want to one... talk to you. They don't want any nonsense. They don't care. They I... just want to sell their shit to you. I love her chasing me around when I'm trying to find clothes. I love it. I hate it. Yeah. I hate that. But so, she's pushing her. She's pushing her business, do you, man. Doing Sonic have, drag. Have either of you um, befriended uh, Sable Come. yet? Sable? I tried, and she's like, "I'm busy. I can't talk." So you, to you literally have to do it for like ten days in a row. Talk to her, and then she'll be your friend. Like, but you have yeah. to talk to her every single I like day. That. She's the one who's uh, doing the fashion, but she has her like rolly suitcase. She's like, "I need you to model something for me." No, that's label. That's label. The brother's sister. Yes. Okay, wait. Then I don't know if I've met Sable yet. Sable's the one who's at the sewing machine. Oh no, we haven't become friends yet. Yeah. Yeah, she wants nothing to do with you. She's not your friend. Which she doesn't they, like you. They, they actually have like a like a really intricate backstory and stuff. For Sable? She's... Sable, Mabel, and Label, actually. Talk to us. So like their both of their parents died when like Mabel and Label were like below ten. <gasps> and so like oh, Sable had no. to raise Sable had to raise the both of them. <gasps> what? And, uh yeah, I know. And then eventually uh Label left and that really like affected Sable because she's like She's not really doesn't really deal good with loss, and that's why she doesn't want to get close to people, and that's why it takes a long time to like for like because she's like you're just gonna leave like everybody else in my life leaves. Oh my kind of thing. god, <laughs> yeah. that's so sad. I love yeah. this. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> See, okay, that's one of the things about this game that's so great is just like it, it it's it's a happy island shore, but like it doesn't sugarcoat feelings or emotions. Like it teach it actively teaches you to emote. Right. Yeah. Like it'll be yeah. like, be sad or be encouraging or be excited. Like it teaches you how to do that. And also just like, Lucy, sweetie, come here. I'm talking about emoting and she's just like over here emoting. Hi, sweetie bear. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, it, it actively like teaches and like allows you to do that. And even like the villagers are like, they're, they're so forthcoming in the way that they feel. Like if you go to one of them, they're like, honestly, I'm having kind of a shitty day. <laughs> and you're like yeah. oh i'm sorry and they're like it's fine i can't figure this out but that's just frustration and i'm letting myself feel this i think by the end of the day i'll be fine and you're like oh go off here's a present they're like so you know what you didn't have to do that here's a little bit of money it'll make me feel good please take it i appreciate you i'll talk to you tomorrow and you're like oh okay <laughs> thanks Renee. Honestly, though, i'd be worried i'd be worried because teddy like works out all she does is work out and i truly think that she thinks she's fat and it makes me sad yeah, she's like always working out, and she's like, "I'm just worried that this isn't gonna look good on me." And I'm oh. like, "Teddy." But see, what yeah. I what I love is that like these are very real things, you know. And she is kind of a tubby bear, oh. but she's supposed to be. She's a bear. Yeah. One of my favorite things is seeing like them like interact with each other. Like they'll be talking to each other, and then like one of them's be like, "Man, like I really wish I could work out." And then like the like fitness one is like, "Oh yeah, you should do it with me." And then like a day or so later, they'll be in the plaza like working out together and stuff like it's, that. You're, like look at that, it's so cute. I love when they yeah. like Naruto run in the plaza. Oh <laughs> yeah, when when they, when they do the airplane thing. Yeah, they all just like flying around just for fun. I'm like, this is so cute. One of my favorite things was when the first time I caught one of them like singing and in, in, singing in the plaza uh -huh. and Aww. i was like oh my god she's just sitting there singing <laughs> i love that some of them will keep singing depending on how confident they are some of them yeah. will be like oh oh okay <sighs> sorry i'm i'm done and if you if you like crazy. one one of my villagers was singing and they stopped because they got embarrassed and i clapped and they were like oh okay and they kept singing <gasps> yeah it was so. It was just like so I absolute darling. Oh, yeah. I love that so much. That's so sweet. Isn't it so cute? 
Honestly, you guys, I didn't mention this at first because I wasn't sure how this was going to go, but I took an edible before we did this. Oh, and God. I will be yeah. more, please. Go off. <laughs> are, you, are you currently high now or is it processing? Oh, yeah, for sure. No, like I have been along the process of talking about this cute ass game. Yeah. But truly, though, I, it just, I, I love it so much. I love, I love how like fun it is and how it really is. You can just go there and spend some time landscaping or building something or doing whatever and you don't have to spend any other time there like it's cool you're always welcome back like it's a good game this was a totally the type of thing that i needed going into current events oh, for yeah. sure yeah. well part of me perfect is, and uplifting part of me is low-key like was i well obviously not but what <gasps> better fucking timing talking about conspiracy theories nintendo <laughs> timing animal crossing y'all the perfect... Nintendo would have been better prepared to sell more Switches, though, man. Oh, they would have, truly, yeah, because there's the yeah. huge shortage. And apparently, this is Animal Crossing sold, outsold in this first, like, three months, um, outsold itself in its entire projected expectation, right? <gasps> like, Aww. I think they've they've done better in the, the first three months of release than they had expected for its entire run. I think, I think it outsold... Um... Breath of the Wild too, and it's like no first shit. month. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that fucking tracks. I mean, it's it's a good game. It's so fun. I love it. I love playing it. Yeah. I love Me like too. thinking of what else to add, or like if I want to just like destroy an area and be like, you know what, this is gonna be this now. I've decided. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, I have a question for you guys. What's up? Why does it take so long for a bamboos to gr- like for bamboo trees oh, to yeah. grow? Oh yeah. 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 It takes I'm so like, long. <laughs> I need bamboo, dog. It's just well, ridiculous. If you uh, have you been using any of the Nook Miles tickets to go to the abandoned oh, islands? Oh yeah, I've been going. That's like pff, my jam. My favorite is to land on a bamboo island and then you're just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna uproot all of these bamboos. It. Yeah, <laughs> so cute. I got a scorpion island the other day. Whoa. What's whoa? What what is that? So it's just an island that keeps regenerating. The only thing that it regenerates is scorpions. Ooh. So you can just like I literally had to throw a bunch of my tools away except my net, and I just caught a ton of just scorpions. Farmed them, yeah, yeah, because they're worth a ton. And if you wait for um, what's what's their name? Who's who's the bug person who loves bugs? Um, uh, Flick. Flick. If you wait yes. for Flick to come to your island, <laughs> they'll uh buy the bugs for twice what they're worth. And scorpions yeah. are already a um an expensive uh item or a expensive mm-hmm. bug to sell. Um, mm-hmm. so he'll give you a ton of money for them. Yep. And I did that the other day. I got them, and it, like they paid me a ton of money. I also love their story. It's like I love bugs. I'm here to collect the soul bug, whatever. Also, do you want to talk about my like my art? Because my art is cool, and I feel like you'd like it. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> like low key, just yeah. I mean, I love bugs, but I'm also an artist. You know? And you're like, yeah, yeah, man, go off, like. Yeah, but what he gives you is so fucking ugly. <laughs> oh, see. Again, I'm saying this from like a best case scenario, me as a person <laughs> perspective, but I have not asked them about their art yet. <laughs> oh, so what it is? Oh, sad. You know, you know how like when you when people like kill like a buffalo or something, they mount the head on the wall or something like that. <gasps> yeah. Ew. So ma- imagine that, but it's uh, a bug, a giant bug head. That's his art. Mm. That's yes. Oh my god. Okay. See. That's gnarly. So I've gotten a couple of those, not from Flick, just from yeah. like uh, balloons. I got a. Uh, I think it's like a hornet head mount and a b- grasshopper head mount. Yeah. 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 That's that's what they are. Oh. Is that. Cute. Yeah. Okay. So move moving on to the next subject, we need to talk about Harv. Harv? Oh, the photographer. Oh yeah. yes. You mean the one person I wanted to live on my island? That's the, that's the one person you want to live on your island. Oh man, he's so cool. <laughs> he just like show up to his cab. His island is a cabin, and there's just like chickens everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and also, he's like a dog. Like, he has a really cool mustache. He's like it's like a hippie dog. Hippie dog. And I yeah. don't really understand how to use his <gasps> island. I don't either, and I want to know. So it's it's just four photos, and that's it. That's all. And um, can you what it use is, any is, props you want? You can use props that you have. You can use villagers that you have, but you can also scan the like little QR cards and it adds the people to that. You can like frame like photos and stuff like that. That's pretty much all it is. Oh, okay. I'll have to try it yeah. again because when the first time I went there, I was like, I don't get it, and I went home. Yeah, me too. 
And I just want to know what his deal is. I feel like Jake would have some backstory on her. Yeah, no, he just a... invites people over to come yeah. to his house to take so pictures. I want to know what his yeah. deal is. Is he single? Is he looking? <laughs> What's his deal? <laughs> <laughs> Harv is what I imagine Eric as if he were a hippie. Aww. He's like, come to my island, take pictures. Yeah. You can use anything you want here. Uh, just like feel yourself. See, in my head, what I picture Char- Charles to me in uh, what his name's Charles Harv. Harv? Harvey. Harvey. Har- <laughs> oh no, this is what I was thinking. Harvey to me is canonically gay in the series, and Harvey's <laughs> husband is Charles E. Cheese of Chucky fame. Uh, of um, course, yeah. And they're both oh, no. kind of living their beautiful, creative life off doing their own things. Charles E. Cheese, who is a millionaire, and Harv is just like, yeah, babe, like I'll be here. Just come over whenever. <laughs> that's what I see. That's, I like that. That's my take yeah. on I Harv. ship it. I ship it, too. <laughs> I ship it. I'm just at Harv's Island now taking pictures for this podcast. Yeah. Yay. So, so there was a um, – I, I saw people were doing, like, fan castings for a um, – like an animated series, which there is an Animal Crossing animated movie, by the way. Oh, that exists. Um, but somebody's doing fan casting, and somebody did picked Danny DeVito as Tom Nook, and I was oh like, I actually no. love this. <laughs> I don't agree at all. That would be so funny. I mean, you know and, what? Just like as and, a scum, like a scumbag, though, I could get that actually. It would work. I get it. It was like it was like Timmy and Tommy. I forget which one, but one of them was Jeff Goldblum too, which I thought was hilarious. Oh no! See, that wouldn't work. <laughs> But I just saw one where it was saying Jason Bateman as Tom Nook, and that that I can oh, get behind too. Yeah. <laughs> then who are Timmy and Tommy? Um, I don't know. It's a good question. <gasps> okay, hear me out here, and this might be wild. I'm gonna say Jabuki Young White and Timothy Chalamet as casting for Timmy and Tommy. <laughs> What's funny is okay, so I just pulled up mycast.io, which has an Animal Crossing thing, and okay. the second person you said is on the Timmy. Was the the top vote for the Timmy? Timothy one. Chalamet. Yes. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not Whatever. kidding at all. <laughs> is Jabuki Young White? Because okay, so Jabuki's hilarious. No, uh, I don't know who this person is. Ross Lynch. I don't know. I don't know who, who that is. Oh, he's a Disney kid. He was on Austin and Ally. I don't think I know Ross Lynch. <laughs> he is. He sucks, honestly. But good for them. <laughs> oh, you know who he is? He is the boyfriend on Sabrina, the new Sabrina. Oh, oh okay. got it. Yeah, Got he's not it. that good, but he's cool. He would I track guess. as one of the one of t- either Timmy or Tommy. Yeah, I could see that for sure. Ah, but who would be Wilbur? Wilbur. W- Wilbur's my favorite. He's a really low, uh, voice dodo that like <gasps> takes you everywhere. Yeah. Oh my I God. love him. Okay, so do you guys you know, know how long it took me to uh, realize they were Wilbur and Orville? Right, like it took me so long to figure that out. The Wright brothers. So yeah. I I feel like I know what Eric is about to say, and we need to let him say it. Okay. It's about a meme. Oh well, no, but ju- I, sort of. It's kind of tied to it. Um, the gay male community has done a number on the <laughs> likeness of the Dodo brothers, um, in a way that in some time in in some cases is very fun and entertaining, and in some cases is absolutely wild. Um, I've seen so much bizarre bara um, i think i'm seeing this online right now (laughs) furry dodo art that's just like yes they're just like them as human males yes i'm seeing both so some it's just like they're like burly fucking bird with like chest hair and like muscles it's so (laughs) silly it's so silly and i see so much of it on my fucking twitter because the gays are just a mess (laughs) They're rampant right But now. I will say there was a meme that was so cute. It was like, um, it was a little comic strip. And it was, you know how when you go to the uh, one of the islands with your Nook Miles ticket? And then it's like, if you get into trouble, you can call him and he'll come rescue you. Yeah. Or like <laughs> if you get hit or stung or something and you faint and you get woken up right there. It was like that. Yeah. It was like, y- the comic was like, you get stung and then he comes over and picks you up and you wake up and you're in his arms. And they like chiseled out his fucking pecs to look like... <laughs> so stupid and you wake up and you're like blushing you look up at him he's like don't worry i got you and i'm just like shut up shut yeah, up yeah i twitter. saw that because you liked it i see everything you like <laughs> I, on twitter by the way I twitter know. loves to tell me what eric lefebvre is liking i know honestly um. and sometimes too i try to like i do have a thought twitter that is like i really try to make sure that night both of those are so separate 
because I don't <laughs> want any of those likes re reconfiguring the algorithm to start showing that like, hey, here's this fucking straight porn that Eric liked. And everyone's like, cool, Eric, thanks for putting porn on my time. You know what I mean? So I try to, I want to make sure that those are both separate. But um yeah, I do like a lot of silly shit on Twitter. Yeah, but I love it. Twitter <laughs> always tells me what you're liking. I know. So I saw that you liked that and uh, I love Orville though. He's I one reposted of my it to my story on Instagram too because I thought it was so funny. <laughs> Just like that, is, if that isn't fucking me, and not to say that I had like big ass crushes on these characters, because again, to me, they're not like they're just like cute little animals. But whenever I see the dumbass bar that people make that are anthropomorphizing <laughs> these people and it's like low key furry culture, I scream because I think they're so fun. They're so yeah. funny. They're so funny. <laughs> people are wild. People are yeah. wild. Yeah, I love it crazy. though. Yeah. Do uh, we ever meet any other humans on Animal Crossing besides the ones that you know no, already? That's it. I like that. Yeah. The, the only peoples is uh, you. I'm going through all the special characters here. Like you had CJ the other day, right? Um, Shelby. Oh, CJ. See, yeah, I don't like. He's him. an in, he's an influencer. Yeah, we don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> I he, don't have any. I have no patience for nonsense on my island. I'm an old <laughs> woman. <laughs> So, so he's he's um he's actually the son of a previous character that used to run the fishing tournaments called Chip. What? Who was also a beaver who ran the fishing tournaments and stuff. So CJ is the it's son of Chip. It's all nepotism. Yeah, and same Pretty with shabby. actually Daisy May, the um, turnip girl, is the granddaughter of the original turnip girl Joan. Oh, <laughs> that's why when I first saw her, I was like, oh, this is not Joan. That's that's weird. I love that. Joan, is that you, Joan? Yeah, oh, Joan. Like hello. <laughs> um, and and have have you had um, Sahara yet, uh, Shelby? I okay. So I love her, but also at the same time, I have a hard time because she doesn't move fast enough for me to oh, be comfortable. Oh <laughs> yeah. Because I'm very much like a go 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 go. Yeah. And she's just like, I have these rugs, I have these yeah. carpets, yeah. I overcharge, but you're you know, gonna buy so, them anyway. Um, What's so weird is um, in Japan, Sahara is male, and in uh, English localization, she's female. That's they like switch the genders. It's really, yeah, I don't know. It's well, really strange. One of also the things that I was reading about this game that I I hadn't really noticed, but I really enjoy, is their lack of gender specificity. Totally, yeah. yeah. Like like when in, instead of like putting on a dress or whatever it's it's everything is relative to style so anything that is masculine or feminine it's not a, it's not sort of presented as masculine or feminine or male or female it's just presented as like style like how do you want to yeah. style yourself mm -hmm. you want to yeah. style yourself in this dress you want to style yourself in this tux how about your hair how do you want to style it it's all based on style and i love that sort of gender erasure of it yeah of it all you know yes and yeah like, i like, agree with that even with the like gender of most of the animals, you have to like, you have to go out of your way to find out what it is. Like the game doesn't really care about it. Like you yeah. have to really go out of your way to find it out. Yeah, yeah the, the erasure of it and just like it being such a non-issue or a non-point of contention or conversation, like it doesn't matter. Like mm -hmm. however you right. want to represent yourself and however you want to exist is what is important. It has nothing to do with what people perceive you as in a way that you're not, wanting them to perceive you you know what i mean it's really cute i love it i love it have either of you guys met simon he's a monkey and he's like the most colorful little monkey he's so cute he's such a sweetheart oh, he a he's so quiet yeah he's a oh, villager yeah. he's a sweetie let me look him up. um <laughs> i just got him a little while back when i had to uh frantically build all three of those houses which oh is yeah, fucking yeah bullshit um but simon um, like I watched him the other day and he ate a bug. <laughs> and I like, thought ate he was bug? like the, you yeah, were just I sitting there watching the him? sweetest. Yeah. No, it was like in the intro of Animal Crossing when they show you like what your villain oh, is yeah, up to. Yeah. And he ate a bug. And I was like, my sweet Simon, what is wrong with you? We have fruit all up on this island. Yeah. Wait, where's I don't know. I just thought that was weird. How do you spell Simon? S-I-M-O-N. There's a couple of villagers I still want um, that I'm really, really, really like wanting to find. Who? Well, Pietro is my number one one that I want to find really badly, which is that the, the which is the sheep that looks like a clown. 
<gasps> yes, <gasps> I want. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I I'm I'm really into like the villagers that other people call ugly, and I'm like that's not ugly. That's a cute Yippee. sheep it's person. Too, that's yeah. a clown. I saw somebody on Creepy. Instagram. They made a bunch of Pietro hats with yeah. Pietro's face and everything, and like made a Pietro dress and just like walked in. And Pietro was like, "Whoa," because <laughs> they were dressed exactly alike. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So cute! <laughs> oh my god! Kitty. I will say, I realized I had like two villagers that are supposedly rare. Oh yeah. Um, Octavian the octopus. Love Octavian. Octavian's sick. Kind of an yeah. asshole, but I love warming up to him. Have you seen the... Um, go ahead. Oh, no. And then I was going to say Raymond, the kitty cat. Oh, yeah. Dude, people pay a lot. People pay a lot of bells for that. People people are paying... For what? People... So, so people will pay to get villagers from each other, right? There's a, there's a slave trade in Animal Crossing, essentially, oh. where people yeah. will pay bells. For, yeah, it's really gross. Um but like people like for some reason Raymond is really sought after one. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, people are like pe- people really get like pay a shit ton for him. Yeah, for some because he's like a he's an office cat. So his house like Raymond's house is all like office material. It's fax machine. It's um dr- drawers. It's like a very boring desk. It's vanilla folders. He's like very organized, but it's their design is just office. Yeah. And Raymond's kind of a dick too. <laughs> He's just like a very no nonsense. Like, mm, I actually don't like what you're wearing. So if you can go, that'd be great. And you're like, yeah. oh, whoa, okay, whoa. queen. Have you ever seen um, Zucker before? No. Mm-mm. He's like he's one of my favorite um, uh, octopuses because he wears like a little kimono and he looks like this little Japanese snack <gasps> called uh, takoyaki. Oh. Oh, I see him. <laughs> yeah. So cute. Okay, so so he's lazy. Yes, he's a lazy villager. Wait, Jake, don't you also doesn't Gulliver live on your island? No, but I just ha- I've had him a bunch. Oh, I've had him I've so had many him times. Before. <laughs> I've had him a couple times. Gulliver. Yeah, he's he's a I've mess. A oh, the he's, bird. He's an alcoholic, yeah. bro. The pelican yeah, who is. washes up on shore and he's like, "Hey, can you guys?" find my fucking phone so I can like get out of here and yeah. you're like dude what he's like I don't know my friends need to come pick me up but also like can you hurry the fuck up and find my phone and you're like but- dude <laughs> stop like calm down he's like it's in the and sand it's not even what his you- full phone you're just looking for parts which is weird you're looking for broken ass parts he's like I don't know so so many people who were playing it for the first time when he first pulls out his like communicator people are like is that a gun like immediately there's so many people like did he, did he just pull a gun on me he's just a drunk bird pirate who's like hey give me yeah. money or whatever and you're like what it's, he's 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 Willem Dafoe from the lighthouse who just washes up on your island yes oh my god uh, that's so funny I will say one. yeah he's a mess he is a mess he stopped coming to my island for some reason yeah but maybe he'll show maybe up again. Maybe he learned later. you were tired of his shit. It's true. I was like, I was no longer putting up with his shit. I was just like, yeah, I saw him on the island one time and I just ignored him. It's like, <laughs> you can, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> fixing your problem. Have your friends come pick you up. We've already done this three times. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I'm not enabling you anymore. It is, it is. And he stopped showing up. Yeah. It's honestly, That's toxic. It's, it's, it's bad of me to enable you in this way. So you need to fix this. That's he does toxic. give you some uh, cool items too, though. Does he? I don't remember what he gave me. I think he gave me an ugly he shirt like, once. He gives you like weird stuff, like a pyramid or like the Sphinx or like a mermaid statue, like okay. weird stuff like that. Well, damn! Yeah. Next time I'm gonna try because yeah. I want that shit. A mariachi skeleton. It says here. What the fuck? Weird. Yeah. <laughs> so. He just gives you- you should not have to be punished for not wanting to deal with him. That's not cool. Yeah, that give me stuff anyways for not having done any work. Like I want the thing. I want the stuff. I want the prizes. Give me the prizes. Yeah. I don't want to play the game. Yeah. <gasps> I'm looking at some of these other villagers and I'm like jealous. Yeah. And Naomi looks so cute. She's a snooty cow, but her fashion is it and her bangs are on. Me. She's There's so that video cute. of that guy, of that guy reviewing everyone. I would love them, that. I and it see. was killing me. Because one of my so, villagers is Renee, and I love her. She's like the nicest. She's she's so thoughtful. She's like such a sweetheart. She was my first villager, and she's like 
ever since she's like, hey, have you talked to all these people? Anyways, they're so cool. This person loves this. This person loves this. They're probably going to love you because Aww. you love this. And you're like, Renee, you know so much about these people. I love you. <laughs> so That's did you sweet. um did you do either of you guys have um Audi on your thing? No. Is that spelled with an A? Yes. Sorry, Cause, I'm, cause, I'm, on, I'm on the Animal Crossing fandom full character yeah. list. Because because there's a new um there's a new they're a new villager, but they're the impetus behind their story is funny and great. Is it the fox? So, the fox. Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> yes. The wolf. And so uh, what it was was Audi is the vil- was the villager name of an 89 year old woman, right? Okay. Who got famous on the internet because she had she had logged 3,580 hours in the previous game. Whoa. Oh. And so and and was known as like a huge Animal Crossing fan. So they put Audi in the game, which was the name of her villager in it. Um, they put her in the game as a permanent villager from now on. That's so cute. <laughs> yeah. That's so cute. Yeah. Was that and the Wait, no, there was sorry. a video of her recently opening up the new Animal Crossing and stuff. Aww. And she did she did she notice that she was in the game? She had heard about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so cute. That's so sweet. Oh my gosh. There was a story that Eric told me that was so um beautiful about about like leaving letters to people. Yeah. And you can leave letters? Yeah, you can like you can like send letters to people and just like type it out. Apparently, um I forget. Ooh, somebody's screaming outside. Whoa. Did you hear that? <laughs> Was Whoa! That? Yeah, we did. That was scary. <laughs> in the group. Wait, wait, yeah, that was weird. Anyways, uh. <laughs> um, <laughs> the the kids in the parking lot next door they play all the time, and so they're running around. Yeah. Um, but no, there was this whole thing with I guess um, somebody hadn't played Animal Crossing in a long time, and when they opened it up, they had a bunch of these letters, and it was letters from like uh, one of their. <laughs> I don't know if it was like a partner or like a loved one who had passed away, but it was letters Aww. they had written beforehand that they hadn't oh, read yeah. yet because they hadn't played the game in so long. So Aww. they were just going through these letters that they hadn't read of like just general daily well wishes and kindness from this loved one who was no longer there. And it was like this really sweet um, connectedness, even post mortem that I like, it was just, it was beautiful. And it's sort of like, yeah. summarizes the 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 kindness and sort of optimistic ennui of the game itself like it, mm. it really just it captured perfectly like what the game means to people but also like the kindness of the game yeah you know anyways really. that was the story what were you saying jake uh, you were gonna say something i interrupted you i don't w- was i were you no i don't think so oh <laughs> we're just talking about audi yeah well, yeah yeah because i was just i i had finished my audi story Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. That's very sweet. It is so sweet. Legit. I want I, I want some of these villagers so bad. Caesar have you looks ever seen, so cute. Have you ever seen Barold before? Barold. No. Barold? Like Gerald? <laughs> B-A-R. Like Harold with a B. <gasps> oh, my God. No. He's, he's the is ugliest he villager for sure. Yeah. Oh, sad. I'm gonna, oh, I need to pull no, up. Oh, no, he is. I need to pull up these villagers. <laughs> He's so ugly. Baby boy. Oh, no. Oh, that's so mean. <laughs> okay, Loki, and this is not, like, I'm not trying to read. Barold looks like a drag queen um, out of drag. Like, no, yeah. <laughs> no eyebrows, some bad shadow. Obviously, like, some feminine features where you're like, oh, damn. Um, but very clearly, like, oh, like, oh, not to say the drag queens out of drag are ugly, but no eyebrows definitely give a certain set of, um, yeah. uh, oh my God. visualization. Oh, sweetie. And <laughs> I love that shirt. Go off, Barrel. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's a weird, it, it's, it's like a caveman bear, essentially. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I love Beardo. Beardo the bear with the chops and the mustache. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah, Beardo's. Sick. It, there's there's a lot of villagers I wish that I had, but I, I love the ones um, that I have already so much that it's like hard to get rid of them. Who are your favorites right now? Like Flora is me and Nicole's favorite one. <gasps> is that the flamingo? Yes. I want her Aww, so bad because she reminds she so me of great. Apple. And I give Aww. her all my clothes, and she puts them on, and I'm like, hee hee. Like she has she has like a pineapple hat that I gave her that she wears all the time. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. Yeah, she's 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 great. Yeah, Apple's one of my favorite ones that we don't have. 
I love her. She's such yeah. a sweet little hamster, and she's like, we're going to be pop stars. I'm into DIY. <laughs> yeah. Like, DIY or die. Do you want to practice? I'm just over here dancing, singing my song. I love her so much. Apple? Ugh, Apple. Yeah. She's the cutest little thing. She's oh, my little favorite hamster. villager. Little what a chubby sweetie. hamster. <laughs> if she ever leaves me, I will be devastated. I've made her my oh. best friend on purpose. I go see her every day. Apple is yeah. so cute. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's so many cute villagers. I can't yeah, handle There's them. a lot of them. Yeah. Lucky, I Apple. really want. Who's like a mummy dog? <gasps> <gasps> Lucky? Yeah. yeah. Hold on. Hell yeah, that dog looks so cool. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's sick. There's a lot of weird, like random ones that I like that are that are like either weird or like kind of like you know. I have to send that video of that guy going through all of them. It's so funny because he's so sassy with every review where he's like, "Love it." Yeah. Love, love the eyes. Oh my but god. The rest, the rest has got to go. <laughs> Monique is literally Liza Minnelli. G- look her up. <laughs> Look her <laughs> up right now. Completely. Yeah, she's yeah. got I'm a frilly dress. Right she's now. a little cat. She's got a little mole. She's got eyeshadow. A little pussycat wig. She's got like a frilly dress. And she's giving side eye. She's a drag queen. Oh, Look yeah. at her. Oh my god. I want her. I want her too. Uh, Monique. That's how I felt about so that one cute. alligator that I had. <laughs> that one time I was like, oh, this is some drag queen in I know. Oh my god. <laughs> There's so, these. I are love so her little cute. tail. Oh, oh my Aww. God! Opal is like post punk. Oh, completely. Opal was in into punk when they were in their twenties, and now is a mom. Yeah, that's Opal. Wait, who who writes a? Oh my food gosh, blog? who writes a food blog? I love her bangs. Yeah, she's got big old bangs. I hope she's not transphobic. Oh no! <laughs> True. Nobody, nobody in Animal Crossing is good. Goddamn right. <laughs> Because those bangs are a little rough. <laughs> Have you ever seen low, 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 tur- ever seen low the, turfy? Seen, uh, seen ribot. Ribot. Oh, the robot, robot, robot yes. frog. The, the yes. robot frog. Yes. Yes. <laughs> There's so many good characters. They really yeah. put a lot of thought into all of these characters too. Like every single one has a discernible personality. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's really lovely. Oh. It's very sweet. Oh. Except for Goldie, she's a bland, bland, bland woman. Yeah, here's the thing: is, is she's so, so boring? So like, when you're when you're in these Animal Crossing groups, like people want all these villagers, and I'm like, that one is so boring. Like, why would you want that one? It's Goldie's just like a sweetie, milk but she's toast. very boring. Give us like examples. Toast, like, um, I'm trying to think of a good good. I mean, Raymond's a good example. I think he's like super milk toast looking and kind of just oh. boring. He is boring, and that's uh, why I was so surprised that people were like, "We'll pay you." I'm like, "Oh what?" But like one like Chrissy on here, if you can look that up, it's like so just like, it's just cute, and it's like that's fine, but like, where's the character? Chrissy with a C or a K? <laughs> with a C. Chrissy. Yeah, I don't know if it's uh, it's with an H. C H. Oh, C R- H. There R- we go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I get it though. She's very cute. She looks like an Easter but she's egg. Kind of like so like milk toast. I mean, a little bit, but like anime milk toast. <laughs> yeah, just w- when when you could be like looking for like a cherry or like a, a you know <gasps> uh, Pietro or something. Are you <laughs> fucking like, kidding me? They have their birthdays. Yeah, so Shut so up. you can actually look up which one you share a birthday with. <laughs> what? Okay, yeah. I'm doing. I that. don't share one with any of them. I don't think. Wait, have either of you? Neither of you have experienced. Well, Jake, maybe you did. Having your birthday on Animal Crossing? Not yet, but I see it's so cute. You walk around, it was so cute. They're like, yeah, I have something to show you. Yeah, well, this was my birthday present, so it felt so great. But, um, like, walking around, if you randomly talk to a villager, they would be like, happy birthday, Shelby. Like, it was so cute. (laughs) They, like, know your birthday. It's very sweet. And they give you presents and cake. Your mom mails you a cake. Oh, my oh God. yeah, yeah. I share a birthday with CJ, by the way. The fisherman? Ooh. The fisherman guy, oh, whoa, yeah. Oh, okay. The, <laughs> the Instagrammer? Yeah. The influencer? I sh- we're, we're both influencers. I, I can't help it. I share a birthday with Clay. The, oh, the weird-looking one. The lazy hamster who's like yeah. almost like a sugar skull-looking yeah, buddy. They almost look naked. 
almost. Yeah, kind of. Which I'm like yeah. into it. It's just they're just Donald Duck in with only a shirt. I'm like, yeah, yeah. go off. Same. <gasps> oh my god, their home request is a spooky haunted house. Shut up. <gasps> <laughs> Oh my god. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Initial clothes are an uncommon shirt. Yeah, same. We don't conform. <laughs> Skill of writing backwards. Goal is archaeologist. Favorite coffee? Mocha. Too much sugar, but I feel it. I'm on board. Um I I have one right oh. before this podcast. A mocha? A mocha? Yep. Love it. Yeah. Um go from on. McDonald's, so. <gasps> you know what? Their vanilla iced coffee sucks. So. Yeah. Eric and I have been making Starbucks coffees here, and it's been so nice. Yeah. We've been making espressos. Yeah, we made some. So the Danger Inc. crew have been swinging by and dropping off goods to, like, some local folks. <laughs> I know. That's – I know. I wish th- – so this week was the Sad Girls Club week. They did a they did a, they did did a a gift pack based on Sad Girls Club that included flowers and chocolates. Cute. Wow. super cute i know but so um we've been making them coffees and leaving them out on the porch in exchange and they'll like grab their coffee and we'll talk through the screen for a little bit it's been really cute so i know how to make a cinnamon dolce from scratch now y'all oh yeah it goes off it goes off <laughs> just as a head just so just as a heads up in case you wanted to know it goes off like <laughs> In case you didn't know and you did want this new information just for your records and or for your, you know, whatever, it does go off. And I need you to go ahead and mark that down. I need you to go ahead and write that down, if you could, that it goes canonically off. So I'm playing Animal Crossing right now as we're doing this because I'm (laughs) just worthless. Um, And I don't know. I felt like it added to the experience. But... Teddy is just fucking crazy, man. If any of you guys ever get her on your island, you will love her. <laughs> she, We have that new islander, uh, that new person that lives on our island. And I'm so sorry for what you guys have to deal with right now because I cannot talk. No. Um, <laughs> she, Teddy just came up to me and she's like, hey, have you welcomed our new uh, resident? All you have to do is go up to them and scream in their fucking face, basically. <laughs> she just like screamed in my face. <laughs> like it's nice to meet you. Rah. Honestly, Shelby, I we found with these characters. I found your character birthday. Who? Who? Coach. Who's that? <laughs> Coach is Hold a jock, jock bull villager who first appears in New Leaf. His name refers to a gym teacher and or host, a reference to his jock personality. Um, <gasps> Ew! I hate him. He's ugly. I honestly yeah. no. He's kind of cute, Shelby. You need to stop. <laughs> His eyebrows. Yeah, I know. They're kind of hot. You need to stop. <laughs> stop bullying him. Seen, so, have you ever seen it? Uh, Hazel, who has, uh, I think it's Hazel. He's the oldest of six siblings. Yeah, he's Hazel? daddy. Yeah, which one is? Yeah, it's Hazel, who has a unibrow. Yes. Love. Oh, honey. Obsessed. And bangs, too. What a sweetie. Oh, my God. I can't believe we really do share a birthday. <laughs> His skills are eating quickly. <laughs> Just I, same. Honestly, also, same. coffee blend. It's a blend with lots of milk and three spoons fulls of sugar. Okay. Nicole. Also, his saying is fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Aw. Hold on. Wow. Uh, Nicole, who's your favorite uh, villager in our village? Miss Flora. Yeah, baby. Flora. Miss <laughs> Flora. Miss Flora. Wait, Jake, who did oh, you... Oh, I want her. Who did you say your birthday was? I share mine with CJ, actually. C- oh, that's right. You did say that. Yeah. Sorry. I share I share a birthday with CJ. Mocha up, you know? Go <laughs> <I'm> off. <gasps> Ooh, yay. Eric's is Keaton. Is a smug eagle villager. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's wearing like a varsity jacket. He's wearing a varsity jacket. Yeah, I love Keaton's, Keaton's colors. I love That's how awesome. his name is most likely a play on the American actor Michael Keaton, who yes. played Birdman. <laughs> smug villagers are very polite, kind, and gentlemanlike. As a smug villager, Keaton will get along easily with others. Um, as a smug villager, he will stroke his ego from time to time, going on about how cool he is. Love it. Oh my god. Go off. That's so funny. <gasps> the house. Oh my god, the house. <gasps> so cute. It's a parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. 
I love that. Cave Paradise, huh? Go off. Wow. Oh, that's so, so funny. Cute. So cute. Ah, obsessed. Wait, who who do you share a birthday with, Eric? Me? Oh, look? mine was the um, who's the? Hold on. What was his name? Hold on. I I highly recommend to see which to see which Animal Crossing character correlates with your birthday, oh. listeners. Oh, it's so fun! I'm obsessed. <laughs> oh, it was Clay, the lazy hamster. Oh yes, the one yes, who yes, was just yes, like wearing a right. shirt or looked naked, and I'm like, yeah, I get it. I get it, Queen. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, this these are so cute. That means so that if we wanted to, we could look up these Animal Crossing characters, uh, like their astrological sign. We could. Yeah. yeah honestly, I'm gonna. It's actually next to their birthday on the um, wiki too. Ugh, honestly, That's so funny. I'm gonna start looking up all of my villagers' co-stars and seeing how they feel that day, and then go talking to them with that in mind. Yeah. Aww, just to sweet. be like, hey, maybe they're they're you know maybe they're having pressure in their sex life. Who knows? Like, keep that in mind when you go up to them. Maybe yeah. they're not <laughs> feeling creatively fulfilled. <laughs> keep it in mind. Air signs don't that. even get me started. Just kidding. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> me neither. I kind of do. It means something. Do you? I dabble. Oh. <laughs> you sound like you got exponentially higher <laughs> Maybe in I the did. last like two seconds. You were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like this, I dabble. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, uh, we're in for a wild ride. When I was telling you guys about Teddy, I realized that it was not sounding too good on my end. So I'm just being <laughs> self-aware. So you took a step back. <laughs> <laughs> she's like she's like i need to get that's it why i'm making coffee this is travis's fault <laughs> oh his cookies yeah, yeah i froze some of them and i uh, defrosted yeah. a couple yesterday i think i still have one edible gummy left in my package Ooh. maybe two in there go off so good so that'll fun. be for uh tomorrow i'm gonna go to work party good for you go you enjoy your life Yep. I'm right. Like I'm snapping. I'm having photo shoots with my Animal Crossing character for oh, yeah. to decide which one to post That's to this. Best. I love that. To this, because I changed her outfit too, and she looks v cute now. She loves to see it. We love to see it. I don't even know how to import them from Animal Crossing to like anywhere else though. The so uh, we'll figure out how to do that. Yeah, I can help you on how to do that. Yeah. Cool. Call tech support. Y'all, well, we're at an hour and 15. That kind of flew by. Oh, that's, yeah, that totally did. That was great. I love this. That was so fun. You guys. That was very fun. Thank you for talking Animal Crossing. Yeah. The pleasure was all mine. The pleasure was mine. Thank you for dealing with me. I, it's never, I never deal with you, Shelby. It's never dealing with you. That's nice. That was nice. But this was a blast. I'm excited. I'm going to play it now. Yeah, me too. I Can I that... talk about how responsible I was that I didn't start drinking whiskey till just now, as opposed to in the middle of the podcast like normal? That's oh, called Oh, good on you. Yeah, you know? Go on. You deserve a whiskey we like now. It. You deserve a whiskey, Jake. We, lo- we love I a responsible queen. I coffee because my brain is fried. Because <laughs> <laughs> my brain is gone. <laughs> All right, Womp. y'all. Yeah. This was a pleasure. This was fun. Okay, I'm going to edit this, and it's going to be cute. Very cute. Oh, yeah. Okay. I love you both. I miss you both. Yep. Um, you too. Honestly, same. Honestly, same. Honestly, same. At the end of the day, same. Totally. Cool. Well, thank you, every all all two of you who listen to this podcast. Yeah. Lousy Advice Podcast with Lousy Advice. Um, That's us. What a joy. What a treat. What an absolute delight it is to be pandemic anyways that's our podcast bye, bye.